is tracking and they call themselves the Google Analytics in real life for textile. So please give a round of applause for Metricare. Hello to everybody. My name is Ruben Justo. I'm going to present Metrikea. Metrikea is the Google Analytics of the real world. Basically, we have created a technology able to detect mobile phones. We can identify, position, and track the customers during all the tour in a shop. With that, we can offer traditional metrics and we can measure the behavior of the customers in the store. How does it work? We install a sensors in the store and they are able to detect the periodic signals emitted by the device phones. With this information, we send to the cloud where our servers process the information and present a dashboard to our clients where they can see information so important as how many customers and how many visitors are in the store and which are the busiest areas and a lot of information more. Very important, our technology doesn't require any kind of application mobile installed in your device phone to be detected. So our tech is completely passive and also we comply fully with the, all the data protection rules. Our business model is divided in two parts. There is a initial cost of installation and a recurrent subscription fee. The most important thing in our company is in only one year, we have, we have ready the hardware and the software technology. Also, we have made an agreement with a Chinese manufacturer, and the most important, we have made an agreement, uh, sorry, uh, we have signed with customers as Burger King, Brand Society, Mobles Boon, and Fashion Makeup. But more important is with which companies we are negotiating currently. We are negotiating with companies as El Corte Inglés, Carrefour or Metro. In fact, we have more than 10 million of euros in the pylon of clients. If we get close to 10%, we will achieve our first 1 million of euros. Our team is completely multidisciplinary with more than 50 years of experience altogether. And also, we have incorporated Angel Lucio as general manager of Indra as an investor, partner, and advisor. And indeed, during this year, Metrikea has won a lot of awards as Passionier, MIT, Premios Emprendedor 21, and more. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Metrikea. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, do you want to make money on YouTube? If you want to make money on YouTube, just upload a video of a cat dancing. You wanna make money with a professional video, then you gotta call these guys up video. Thank you.
गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग हाय वन हाय एवरीबॉडी स्क्रीम मी नाउ हेलो एवरीबॉडी व्हेन वाज द लास्ट टाइम यू वॉच टीपी most of you are quite young so probably not that much and the thing is getting worse all the world is getting digital it's getting connected everything needs to be on demand and it's more social than ever so let's imagine only on youtube every second every second five hours of video are uploaded so this is five movies Which type of client do you want to reach? Do you want the young client or do you want the old client? All the young people are not watching TV. They are watching YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, the third website. But YouTube was not designed for professionals. It was designed for people like you and me, for amateurs. So it has problems. We make these problems solve. We help companies to actually make operations on today today operations on youtube to make it easy for these big companies but youtube has problems with it it does uh, somebody has actually changed the powerpoint anyway it has limits on uh, how it works it was not designed for you so youtube is good a video what we did is great on top of it we help big companies to manage their copyright to manage their business management and accounting to receive all the money that they are need to claim and also all make all, all the operations automatic today 44 billion dollars are spent on content marketing all that money only youtube is already generating 3 billion so the opportunity for the future it's huge we have two business models for the small clients we offer a share money share revenue model and for the big clients we have a fixed price based on usage and utilities we have a small team that all have been working for the last four years on youtube we are youtube certified uh, company and we are the only spanish youtube technical service provider we have a contract signed with youtube and we are really proud of it there is only 10 in the world actually <laughs> and what about our traction we are using our system to protect and monetize the content from real madrid football club barcelona could be anything color we have been bootstrapping our company for the last uh, one year we have invested over 300,000 dollars and if the things are going well in less than 4 months we'll have positive ebitda so we'll have to so, surpass so the cost we are looking for a 500,000 dollars to internalize and scale up the position for international clients so planning on reach on for the future doing you too thank you thank you very much uh, give me this thing yes there we go <laughs> okay our next startup darwin created the theory of evolution and darwin x is evolved themselves into creating a risk management solution set in Wall Street. Please give a round of applause for Darwin X. Thank you. Thank you. This is the last one. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Juan Colon and I'm CEO and founder with Darwin X. And at Darwin X we empower traders. You might be asking yourself the slides. There we go. So we empower traders. You might be asking yourselves, why do we do that? Well, we live in a world where if you have a talent, you can monetize it online. If you know how to freelance, you can make a living at Eland. If you make cool stuff, you could sell it through Etsy. Now, what about if you have a talent to grow money 20% a year? Well, if if you're working with a hedge fund managing investor capital, you have a very clear business model. You grow say 10 million of investor money by 20% a year makes 2 million you keep a 20% share in that you make $400,000 a year fantastic 
Unfortunately, if you try and do that from home and you're managing your own capital, your own five peanuts, and you, you grow your five peanuts by 20% a year, after one year, you've made a peanut. And there's no way to make a living through that, right? And unfortunately, uh, managing investor capital, there's a lot of hurdles for doing that. Uh, but no longer, because just as Amazon gave a business model to independent writers by making them a um, an ebook that you can buy for your Kindle, we essentially make independent traders an asset that you can put in your wallet. So how does that work? Well, on the one hand, we are an FCA, uh, um, we're, we're targeting a, a global niche here, which is not to be ignored. So 5% of every investor portfolio should be invested in an, in an asset which has no correlation to the market and immediate liquidity. We're talking trillions globally here. Uh, and unfortunately, those trillions are not getting any good returns because they're all chasing the same existing few asset classes. So why not make three to five million professional traders are trading from home full time every year and make the best of those guys an investable asset to put on your portfolio? Well, that would be a, a market worth three to five billion globally because each of those guys is worth a thousand dollars. And that's exactly what we do. So we are a profit exchange where we have on the one hand traders competing to impress our algorithms and, and your wallet. And if they do well, they can, uh, you can replicate their strategies through our FCA as a regulated asset manager. It's a profit exchange because you as an investor keep 80% of profits that you would not have made if you didn't have access to the asset. We keep five as an, uh, the only middleman in the middle. We process all the flow and the broker has just become a hedge fund manager from home because he keeps 15% of the profits. Now, we do stuff that none of our competitors do. For instance, we protect the traders uh, by not disclosing the trade the way eToro does. We ha offer a superior rating algorithm that helps you find the truly good traders within just the lucky ones. And we also manage the risk to protect investors in case the traders were to do anything stupid. Now we have grown since launching the, the brokerage business last year from zero to $60,000 per month of revenue, processing two billion per month. And the best part of that is that our algorithms actually have beaten any major index with the same risk by about threefold. So they made 50% where all the rest of the, the markets are, are falling, and that's also because they're not correlated. That gives us a unique user acquisition strategy because essentially we make money by investing in our own traders, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're investing two million of our own money to back our best traders, which attracts better traders, and also proves to the investors that this, this is a viable um, uh, way to, to make money. If you want to see any of us, we're at booth 120 over there. We have collectively 20 years worth of experience in capital markets, and our board is populated with the likes of the former CEO of Elands and managing directors with Goldman Sachs. We're now raising money. Uh, we're raising our Series A uh, to accelerate our growth in Europe and, um, and Asia. We'll be growing very strongly. Enter the US market, build even better trading and big data analytics technology and also just in generally own the category of Darwinian investing. So this was Darwin X. Thank you so much. See you all at booth 120. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, CC. Thank you, Darwin X. I hope you all had, I hope you all had a calculator in the hand. Thank you, Darwin X. Our next startup will make your life easier, will make your payments easier, because everyone likes drag and drop, right? Please give a round of applause for our next startup, EPG EFC Payment Gateway. Hello, okay, my name is Alex Capurro. I'm the CEO and founder of Easy Payment Gateway. Online payments are becoming more and more complex. Let me give you an example. Let's say there is an online shop in Spain who sells mobile accessories. This shop will typically use something like a PayPal because it's a well-known brand. And whilst they have customers from Europe, conversions and sales will be high. But the moment this shop starts getting requests from, company, from customers around the world, his conversion will actually start dropping, and so will his sales. And that's because he doesn't have the local solutions for these countries. So that's where EPG comes in. Through one very simple API integration, we give access to the merchant to every single local solution they need. And thus, we decrease the declines and we increase their sales. But how do we do this? How are we different from every other gateway out there? And let me show you. We have a patented technology that no other solution has, where you can simply drag and drop icons on the screen to develop a flow to define the root of your transactions. As simple as that. So as you can see in this example, what we've done is, first of all, we choose a credit card payment. We then decide if the customer is coming from Europe or outside Europe and we send the transaction to a different bank based on those rules. 
and we could even check if the transaction failed and then send it to another bank, all in real time, as simple as drawing on the screen. So no need to have your IT team or developers. We work across all vectors, and these are the ones we concentrate on on the moment because of our experience. There are some competitors out there, however, where EPG scores 100% in ease of use and functionality, the rest are left behind. We offer 100% customizable pages. That means our clients can customize the checkout process entirely. We have a unique drag and drop functionality. We have a US and EU patent. We have a single API that offers over 200 different payment solutions across the globe. And we have a full reporting suite. Our business model is very simple. We offer a one-time setup fee, and we have a monthly transaction volume fee. Plus, we get commission from all our partners. Speaking of which, we work with the best industry partners so we can offer the best solutions to our customers. We also have strategic partners. We work with the likes of Leverett, SpotOption, and iGaming. These are platforms from the FX, binary, and gaming industry. So through them, we can access over 200 clients and over $2 billion a year in processing. Our team is composed from leading industry experts with over 15 years each experience. And we have a current board of investors with, uh, oops, sorry, go back. Sorry about that. So we have a board of investors and advisors, some of which have founded listed companies worth over a billion dollars. We've processed uh, over $40 million by the end of this year per month. We have over 25 live merchants and a pipeline of 150 merchants for 2016, which equates to almost a billion dollars in processing a year. We've raised over $2 million in 2015. And we've had over three buy offers for over $20 million so far. Finally, what we're looking for is we're looking for a Series A round of investment for $4 million so that we can expand our reach across the globe, particularly in the US and in Israel. So finally, as I mentioned before, online payments are becoming very complex. And it's time for businesses to take control of how they process their transactions and they can make payments profitable once again by using EPG. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, sun is the best source of energy. Unfortunately, the sun is not out all the time, unless you live in Malaga. <laughs> so our next startup has created, has put the sun into a wearable. It's not going to be called sunglasses, don't worry. But please give a round of applause for Novalgy. Hi everyone, how many of you keep snoozing your alarm clock in the morning? And how many of you are jet lagged due to the long haul trip you made in order to come here today? Both of these result because our body clock is not adapted to our contemporary lifestyle. Lack of sunshine distorts our bodily functions and results in lack of energy. Can you imagine that 80% of the population in the modern world cannot wake up without an alarm clock and are chronically sleep deprived? We can change that. We have the solution for all these problems. I would like to introduce to you IO. It is a wearable technology in the form of a smart eyewear that provides scientifically backed blue light and it is wirelessly connected to a smartphone application. Through the use of blue light for just 20 minutes a day, IO helps you boot, uh, beat jet lag, but it can also help you improve your sleep as well as boost energy levels. Based on this, we have Based on these applications, we have numerous markets to approach, consisting of people that are suffering from sleep problems, jet lag, as well as winter blues and winter depression, amounting to at least 250 million people throughout the world. Our competitors so far consist of light boxes, light visors, as well as jet lag algorithms. The light boxes are quite inconvenient to use. You have to stay static in front of them to feel the effect, and they're not very smart. The light visors, are not very appealing and they are not very smart as well. The jet lag algorithms, although they are smarter, they are inefficient because they basically don't provide you with the light. I use better mostly because of our innovative design that allows you to you wear the glasses for just 20 minutes a day, but also be able to do whatever you'd like to do during your morning or evening routines. 
In addition to that, we have a smartphone application that learns and adjusts according to your needs and preferences to provide the maxim maximum effect and efficiency. Our traction so far, we have launched an Indigo campaign. We've reached our goal of 50K for just two days. And currently we are more than 230% funded and we have had pre-orders from almost 50 countries throughout the world. Based on that, we have received vast interest from distributors and potential partners from all over the world. We have been featured in numerous media outlets. And what we currently need is $1 million in order to finalize product development and set business operations. And we have commitments for almost half of it. So if you're interested to talk more, please reach out to us at our booth, number 93. And for the rest, next time when you have jet lag and you feel the nasty effects, remember about IO and pre-order at our Indiegogo page. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. One million dollars to put the sun into a glass. <laughs> Not bad, right? Well, I want to start up. Data is a chaos. Data is a chaos. And Edward Snowden knew it very well, actually. Our next startup is going to turn a machine data into a business inside. Please give a round of applause for Lot Trust. Lot Trust okay. is a real time uh, big data platform to ingest in, querying, and analyzing any volume of data for any period of time. But with so many big data uh, technologies existing right now, what we did not only one. What makes Lost Trust really different? First, you need to understand that most of the big data technologies right now, Cassandra, Hadoop, are based on the same general principle of databases that are from the 70s. But, the, oh yes, these technologies offer better scalability for manage large volume of data. But at the end, they are very large databases that just ingest, uh, modify, delete, and make queries of the data. Now, the total information that we created from, two, uh, from the beginning of civilization until 2002 is about 23 exabytes of information. But in 2015, we are creating the same amount of information every seven days. This unprecedented growth needs that we completely reconsider the way we think about data collection. Now, Locktrust is a platform different because in Locktrust, everything is centered about when the things happen. It's not a solution for any kind of data. It's only for the data in which when the things happen is really relevant. This focus is because as in the real life, you cannot modify what is happening in the past. You cannot delete what's happened five minutes ago. In Locktrust, we have the same scenario for all the data that we are ingesting. Uh, all this, this way to think about the data made that we have a very large, uh, a higher scalability and a performance very different for the other technologies. For example, we are between 50 and 100 times faster than Cassandra using the same amount of data. This is not only a technology. It's a service in which you can insert, correlate, make queries to your data, all, with, all of them with a very gorgeous interface in which it's very easy to make very complex things in a very simple, in a very simple way. All this platform is already built, up and running. Our customers are using right now and send alert, send information, make queries, classify, collect, then visualize all the information, create reports, uh, alert all in real time, but can move the pointer to analysis from any period from the past to the real time analysis. Right now, we have more than 600 payment customers worldwide distribution. We are growing at 300% per year, and right now we will close this year with more than 3 million in analyzed recurrent revenues. All of them in a software as a service platform in which you can use for any volume of data. We have three main delivery models, full on-premise for very large installation, full cloud is the main model that we have, and a hybrid model in which you can send, have your data in your premises and the processing on the cloud. Right now we are in the, in the bridge to attack the, the, the American market. We raised some uh, three million of money in February, but we want to raise uh, money for marketing and business development in the US because it's our uh, natural market. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Well, our next startup comes from Bulgaria and they have built the machine for image recognition, but I will not explain what it works because they are here for that. Please give a round of applause for Imager. Thank you. 
Hello, everybody. I'm Georgi, co-founder and CEO of Imaga. Imaga is a cloud API that enables businesses and developers to build applications that understand images. We suggest a set of keywords automatically that explains what's on the photo in terms of concepts and objects of interest. So let's start with the problem. In the, just in the last three years, has been taken more photos than in the whole previous history of photography. And more than two billion images are taken every day just to be forgotten in about 30 minutes. With this huge amount of user-generated content that lacks metadata, the image content is not searchable, and it's barely usable and monetizable. So the problem that we tackle is to how to understand and organize all these photos. The, solutions that we have, the solution that we have is an automated image tagging API that basically makes images searchable by associating tags with them. And thus, it replaces the manual effort that's needed to annotate images, which is very time or money um, costly. And also, it's sometimes it's even impossible to do this manually. So here's an example how we can suggest uh, multiple keywords describing what's on the photo, like in this case, uh, insect, dragonfly, plant. In addition to the tagging, we can also associate images with, with categories in an automated way. So for example, if you think about personal photo categories, this can be nature photos, beach photos, event photos, and so on. Our technology is based on a, a beyond state-of-the-art machine learning approaches and has the potential to associate multiple keywords of different objects and concepts with a given image, typically suggesting 30 to 40 relevant keywords. Among many exciting other use cases, we have one of the strongest one being in digital asset management, contextual advertising, and organization of personal photos in different kind of cloud services. Our business model, we have two types of business models. One of them is subscription-based cloud API, which is typically for small and medium-sized enterprises. And we have an on-premise enterprise solution for the bigger uh, players. Up so far, we've seen quite solid um, organic traffic to our cloud API from uh, all Europe, Asia, and the Americas. And we also have multiple big enterprise customers in contextual advertising, um, cloud services, and value-added services. Right now, we are looking for Series A funding to accelerate growth. And uh, basically, our vision is to achieve what Amazon Web Services has achieved in Web Services we to achieve in the automatic image recognition uh, services. Last but not least, our team consists of highly motivated people with strong expertise in image recognition, software development, content marketing, usability, and design. Um, thank you very much for your time and attention. I'll be happy to catch up later through the day, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, how's it going, guys? The game changing, the game industry is changing. And apparently now it's no more fun just to play football or something. So the augmented reality is just a trend. And our next startup called Proxy42 knows the best. So please give a round of applause for Next42. Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm Francesco Ferrazzino. I'm a server entrepreneur, the CEO and founder of Proxy42. Together with my team, we create game as real as life. When I talk to people about augmented reality, they always start thinking to a user experience like the one you see in a Hollywood movie of Minority Report uh, or Iron Man uh, or even Terminator. Unfortunately, the expectation, the expectation of a user has always been dashed because right now, at the moment, uh, all uh, the user experience is of hardware, app, and game are flickering, laggy, and very embarrassing to wear. So, together with my team, we created. Uh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> we created Faradotio, the first massive multiplayer first-person shooter played in real life, and the Inceptor, uh, the first wearable device especially created for gaming. Just clip the Inceptor to your smartphone and you will be allowed to hit your friends and enemies up to 50 meters from all the direction. Well, how people react to this? Come on. Okay. In less, 
in very few months with no advertising budget, no advertising budget, uh, over 208,000 people subscribe for a wait list waiting for the beta and uh, with uh, more than 50% uh, of uh, conversion rate. And we will crowdfund in January 2015 uh, with more than 208,000 uh, email in wait list for email marketing. But the cool things about Fire.io is that you don't need the hardware to play the video game. That's frictionless user acquisition. Together with Alessio Cavatore, senior former game designer of 4M40,000, and a closed community of 4,000 members, we developed the strategic gameplay, which is like Clash of Clans, but in real life, on top of the first person shooter. And uh, thanks to the strategic gameplay, we will start a better rolling starting from October up to January, where we will launch the crowdfunding campaign at CAS Las Vegas. Our business model is such easy as disruptive. We provide free-to-play games, and we will monetize with selling the hardware and uh, skyrocket the lifetime value of the user with an purchase. The market is used. If there are more than 1.2 billion of players uh, everywhere in the world. And uh, to execute such a bold vision, we needed uh, an extraordinary team, ranging from game designer, full stack developers, and hardware manufacturing. And I'm very proud of these guys. So we are raising $360,000 with more than 220,000 already committed, especially for win uh, the internet for some days uh, with an appropriate budget for the crowdfunding, American one. I want to thank you very, very much for the opportunity to be here in uh, South Summit. Uh, we're looking forward to for meet potential partner investors who understand uh, the, our vision. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Shooting in real life. I got to buy one for my mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, our last startup is called Style Sage, and I have built a blog. Uh, an amazing big data tool for retail and textile. So please give it a plus for our last startup for this block, Style Sage. Oh. Hello, everyone. My name is Robert, and I'm the co founder and CTO of Style Sage. Fashion meets big data. The fashion industry is in a digital revolution, it's the fastest growing e commerce segment, and even of all the people that buy offline, 78% do online research before. So now, for fashion brands and retailers, it's more important than ever to analyze market data and take more informed decisions. But this is how market data collection works today. Huge Excel spreadsheets, we know them all, where people manually copy and paste data into those monsters. Hard to analyze and obsolete by the time you did it. There must be a better way. At SciStage, we developed a technology that collects, analyzes, and visualizes e-commerce market data. On our platform, we track over 1,000 retailers, 100,000 brands, and 90 million products, up updated every day in over 100 countries around the globe. And let me show you in a short video how our platform can be used by a brand, for example, to sell more to a retailer. After logging into the web-based platform, as a first step, they can look at the color saturation around the market and see what colors are hot and not. By drilling down to product level, they can see competitor products and understand styling and pricing strategies. They can even analyze historical performance. Next, they can look at the entire assortment of the retailer by category, brand, and price point. Immediately, they can see gaps in the assortment which are those spaces without a lot of bubbles in this chart. Those spaces represent opportunities to sell more. And finally, they can track what products are being discounted in the market and make sure that their own products are not discounted too early, which is a critical component to maximize margins for every brand. So using the SizeEdge platform, brands and retailers can sell more in hundreds of retail channels with just a few clicks. We went live and started selling earlier this year, and as of now, have paying enterprise-level customers. One of those customers is the Boston Consulting Group, a top-tier consultancy who uses our platform to consult their clients. 
Another customer is a billion dollar fashion brand in the US and a category leader. And in addition, we're talking to many more in our pipeline. Oh, that was a bit too far. <laughs> Behind all this is a passionate team with backgrounds in fashion, data, and technology. We're seven people full time, of which half is in our New York office, and the other half is here in Madrid. And we are currently recruiting developers in Madrid, so if you're interested, please check out our careers website. And with that, thanks a lot for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wunderschön, Dankeschön. Okay, that was our last uh, startup for this block. So I'll give you only five minutes, just five minutes, and uh, just for a biological break, if you want to call it that way. So I'll see you here in five minutes. See you later, alligator. Bye-bye.